Is your cold email going to spam? Well, today I want to tell you how to avoid that using this one little trick they don't want you to know about. I'm just kidding. I'm Alex Berman. I'm the cold email king. We've sent millions of cold emails and they do want you to know about this. This is a system called DMARC and Google and the other major email providers have implemented this in order to help people verify their inboxes and increase their reputation to avoid the spam box. So here in today's video, I want to show you how to set up DMARC for your cold email campaigns. Stick around. There are a lot of acronyms when it comes to improving your email deliverability. And in order to avoid this being like the nerdiest video of all time and to get you started right away, I'll avoid defining them, but I will say them right now, okay? There's things you need to set up in order to get your cold emails right. SPF, DKIM, and DMARC are the three. Now, you don't need to know what they stand for. I will show you exactly how to set them up. It does not matter. Just know that the email service providers want you to have these set up in order to improve your deliverability. So we're gonna do that. What I would recommend to start is make sure you register using Google Domains instead of using like Namecheap or any of these other ones. And the reason why I recommend Google Domains is SPF and DKIM are already set up by default. So if you use Google Workspace, you use Google Domains, now you've got two of those three already set up and you're good to go. By the way, if I'm talking past you or you want more detailed instructions on any of those, then you can join our course, Email 10K. It also comes with an awesome community of entrepreneurs all working together to grow their agencies, grow their SaaSes this year, and make this the best year ever for all of our businesses. It also comes with weekly access to me. I'm on these coaching calls every single week, talking to you and helping you grow your business. You can get in that at Email 10K. Com. Now we talked about the first two, let's talk about how to add the DMARC. Adding a DMARC record to your inbox is the best way to ensure that you are trusted and protected uh, because there's a strong protocol in here that'll take care of your business, etc. Also, it rescues your employers from phishing and spoofing attacks. Here's a quick video that one of our email 10K students made that shows you exactly how to do it. We can check that out right now. So the first thing you wanna do is log in at domains.google.com. You're gonna select the domain that you wanna add your DNA, whatever type of records to. Right here, it says yourdomain.com. So you're gonna to wanna to put yourdomain.com or whatever, whatever ending you're using, and then click add. So there you have it. It's actually very simple to set up DMARC. You log into domains.google.com. You select the domain you wanna add the records for. You click on DNS and you add V equals DMARC one, semicolon P equals none, semicolon RUA, equals mail to colon yourdomain.com and replace your domain with whatever. So x27marketing.com and click add. The DMARC record name is at and the type is txt. And you can see right here, we have the DMARC set up for getleadshark.com. If you wanna join our private community and talk to me every week in order to get your cold email campaigns up and running, then go ahead and join email10k.com and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.